Hey guys, welcome to another Coach Adams Bikini TV. And today we are going into who is going to be in that top five in just a couple days at the Arnold Classic Bikini. We've had some things change up, a different lineup with a few cuts and a few ads. So let's see who is going to be in that top five. And we're also going to look at who's going to be in that top five based on their current conditioning. Has my opinion changed based on how they're looking now? Let's check it out. So originally I had Phoebe Hagen in the fifth place spot, potentially even in the fourth place spot, but she pulled out of the show and now who I have in her place for the fifth place spot is none other than Evie Eskandar. Now Evie um, didn't place in the top 10 at the Olympia this year. And I know that a lot of you are saying, well, I don't know why you would have Evie ahead of Romina, um, considering Romina placed higher than Evie this year. Here's the thing. I don't know... Personally, I had Evie placing higher than Romina even at the Olympia. Um, I just think that her pop is a little bit better. I think that her overall fullness is a little bit better. Her, um, her just her overall flow, beauty, just everything on how she brings to the stage, her posing is just a lot better. Now, what I think happened with her at the Olympia was she simply got lost in the lineup with all the girls. When you have so many people at the Olympia, there's, you know, 56 people at the Olympia, you know, it's harder to stand out so much. And I think maybe she was just a little bit overlooked. Uh, maybe she was just standing next to the wrong person. You know, if you're standing next to a Laura Lee or something like that in the lineup, it's hard to get noticed as easily because you're standing next to, let's say, Laura Lee and Janet or something like that. So I think that with her being in a smaller show and being able to be directly compared to Romina, she's going to outshine Romina. Um, I think that her glutes are very, very full. I think that her tie-ins look better. Um, and I think that when you put them right next to each other side by side, that Ivana is going to be a more of a standout and take in that fifth place spot. And now we go into fourth place. And in fourth place, I'm not going to have a lot of people that are going to agree with me on this one. This one's going to be the hardest one to pick out of the top five in the Arnold. So here's the thing. You remember, the, the Olympia was just 10 weeks ago. So there's not a lot of time to be making these huge improvements from person to person, right? So you're not going to be seeing like huge mix-ups in the, in the show. You're not going to see, you know, I, I don't think it's possible for someone, let's say they want Ashley to build up a little bit more in the shoulders. Well, how much muscle can she really build in 10 weeks to now be bigger in the shoulders than Maureen, right? It's not going to happen in a 10-week period. These guys are already really advanced lifters. It's not going to happen like in a 10-week period. So the one variable, the one real variable going into the Arnold is going to be Laura Lee, okay? So Laura Lee is the one who, it's really, she's a defending champion and it's kind of hers to gain the throne back or to show up the way that she did at the Olympia and get fourth place again. So Laura Lee is going to be anywhere between fourth and first place. She could easily come in and, and steal the whole show and win with a perfect score. Or she could come back to the Arnold just like as she did at Olympia and get in a fourth place spot. It's going to be really tricky. That one's going to be really, really hard. She could finish anywhere between one and four. Now, do I think there's enough time for her to go from the Olympia look to the Arnold and make a dramatic improvement? Yes, but there's one variable I'm going to go into. So looking at her current shape, I will say she's looking a lot fuller right now. She looks way fuller than she did at the Olympia, and that was the biggest thing for her. You know, I think that she just got really muscular. This is what I was saying all year. I was saying, you know, it's, it's hard to train as hard as she trains in her legs and glutes. Like, she really goes after it. When, she's, when you see videos of her training with Aldo, like, they really work hard. And hats off to them because I don't think anyone works as hard as them in bikini. Uh, I Honestly, I, I don't see anyone even close to working as hard as they do on their legs in bikini as they do. Like she full on trains and I got to give her credit for that because she goes all out. She does not mess around in the gym. But she's also someone who's a little bit leg heavy, right? She's a little bit glued heavy. Now, when you're training like that and you're having off seasons where you're kind of a little bit more free on your diet, and she's very open about this. She, she goes, you know, she has fun in the off season and she doesn't stick to a menu plan. She just kind of you know, enjoys herself in the off season. She doesn't blow up or anything like that, but she is eating a caloric surplus. So you have these two things going on. You have really, really hard, intense world level workouts and you have a caloric surplus. What do you think is going to happen? Of course, you're going to put on more muscle. You're going to put on more density, right? Now, as of, I, I don't know what fully happened at the show at the Olympia. My guess would be um, her glutes got a little bit too big. Her legs were looking a little bit too big in comparison to everyone else's just passing the bikini class to just a little bit. And so they tried to bring her in a little bit flatter to offset the amount of size that she had because she was going to dwarf everyone in her glutes and in her legs. And her glutes are a little bit, if you look at them closely, um, she is not super symmetrical with her glutes and legs to her upper body now. And especially when she's in that back pose, you can really see it. 
So and you can see those quads are looking a little heavy. Now, looking at her current shape, she looks, she does look like she's made some really big improvements. The question becomes, okay, now if we bring her in full, will she now be too muscular? And that's the real variable. Will the judges say, okay, no, we're going to allow that much muscle and we're going to give her first place, even though she's a little bit more muscular than maybe she should be in bikini and her glutes aren't the most balanced, or are we going to hit her now with that? So that's, that's the issue. My guess would be working with Kim, he's got a really good eye. He, he took a gamble and said, you know, we're going to bring you in a little bit smaller, a little bit flatter. So my guess would be that when she was full and he saw her full, he probably said, hey, you know what, you're going to be too muscular. But now I think the only option is to bring her in full to see if that'll work. But I'm sure he weighed out the options and said, okay, we're going to bring you full. You're going to be too muscular. We're going to bring you in a little flat and you're going to be the right size, but maybe you're not going to have the pop. And he went with that, which is what I would have went with too in that scenario. So um, he's, I'm sure the only option now is, okay, bring you in full. Let's see how it goes. And will the judges love that or will they think she's too muscular? That becomes the real variable in this one. And I could see her winning with a perfect score being full. I could see her being a little bit less flat maybe this time, still having some pop, but not 100% full. And maybe that's the answer to this. Um, I, but the answer isn't what they do know. The answer isn't bring her in smaller and flatter. That's not going to work. We figured that out, right? So that's going to become, what are they going to do? How full are they going to bring her in? Will they bring her in just full enough and win the whole show? Will we see what we've seen from Laura Lee in the past where she just steals the light of everyone? I don't know. It, uh, right now, I think it's not enough time to make the necessary improvements. And in her area, it's going to be even harder because you have to lose muscle while training hard, getting ready for a show. But maybe that's not the problem at all. That's just what I saw in terms of the overall balance. How she looks right now from the limited pictures that I've seen and the videos that I've seen, she's not the, the shredded lean that she was. She's full. She's bikini lean. This is how they like Laura Lee. They don't want her super, super shredded. Um, this has always been her thing. When she plays second at the Olympia, she was, you know, not the hardest girl, and they just liked her that way, and so she went with it. You know, she can get hard. It's obvious she knows how to. She's done it now. But the reality is they might not like her 100% hard. So she's bringing in a really good look from what I'm seeing, from how she's coming in right now. When I'm looking at her legs right now, they don't look overly powerful in terms of her quads to her upper body. Can she win the show? Really, it's going to come down to Laura Lee. Laura Lee's her, it's really up to her at this point how she shows up. And I think the other girls are really going to be keeping an eye on her because it's not a matter of them bringing their best because they already brought their best. So it's not like their best is their, their concern with that. They brought their best. Maureen brought her best. Jennifer brought her close to her best, not her best. Ashley brought her best. So now it's a matter of, okay, we beat, did we beat her because we brought our best or did we beat her because she was off? And that's what we're going to find out come Arnold. And so that's the exciting one going into this one. And next up, we have Ashley Kotwalser taking in that third spot. I do think that Ashley is going to be in third place here, you know, going at the Olympia and looking at how the Olympia went. Here's the thing with the girls at the Olympia. No one was really off. You know, the only one who was really off was Laura Lee in that, in that top four group, right? Or that top five group, I should say, because Daraja beat out Laura Lee for the fourth spot. But no one was really off. You know, if there was room to catch, um, you know, Jennifer was really off or something or, or you know if I saw Jennifer coming in off you know maybe there'd be room there but Jennifer's looking pretty on right now uh, Maureen you know she brought a soft look and everyone's like oh she needs to be harder she needs to be harder and I'm like why does she need to be harder if she won the Olympia she doesn't need to be harder like why do you why do you guys think that doesn't make any sense you know it's like it's like someone wins the the UFC championship oh he needs to be better at he just won like let him have it like he's he obviously did enough right so if you're winning shows, you don't need to be anything more, right? You just need to show up exactly like that. And how she's looking right now, she's actually looking a little bit better than she did at the Olympia. So I don't think that she's going to get past either. Uh, I don't think that there's enough time for, for Ashley to build up her shoulders to pass over Jennifer and to pass over Maureen. And that's the one thing the judges say to her is that, you know, you just need to be a little bit fuller up top and you'd be there. But when it comes down to balance and comes down to look, I mean, I personally, obviously I'm biased and, you know, I coach Ashley. Um, I think that she's the most bikini criteria, bikini girl there when it comes to the balance, the muscle not being overly crazy, um, looking, having that pretty muscle, nothing that's, ever, nothing that's too crazy, right? Everything's just there and it's, it's, it looks good. You know, Ashley is going to Ashley. You know, you look at her tie-ins, they look awesome. You know, this is her just yesterday's pictures. Tie-ins are fully there. They're not etched in, but they're fully there. The hamstrings are super round, but they're not separated. The shoulders are looking really good. They're nice and full, fullest they've ever been. Um, the lats even has some good lat shape, roundness to the hamstring, roundness to the glutes, tiny waistline, conditioning is there. Ashley's going to Ashley, you know. Um, she's bringing it, and she is she is on, and, you know, she's a machine. So 
Uh, I do think that there's just not enough time. You know, we couldn't build that much muscle from the Olympia to the Arnold. Um, even in the even after the Olympia, she got sick, so that took out a, a, about 10 days of us trying to build a little bit more. So um, you know, we actually went through like a gaining period to go through this. So um, I think that she's going to be very slightly, very slightly improved is what you'd imagine someone in 10 week period being improved that's that advanced of a lifter, but it's not going to be a, enough time to make these huge changes. Come Olympia time, I think there could be a chance for her to climb up the ranks a little bit, but we're talking 10 weeks ago, one of them being sick, one of them being peak week. Really, we have, you know, seven and a half good weeks of training. How much can you really build in that time frame? Nothing significant. It's really the improvements are going to be if you were off somewhere at the Olympia and then you made these huge improvements to fix that, that's where you can kind of make it in that time gap. But she was on at the Olympia, so it's there's just not that there's just not enough time, you know? Okay. Now, what I want to do is go into who I think is going to be first place. Obviously, Jennifer and Maureen are left. I'm looking at their current conditioning and looking at everything. Who I think is going to win the Arnold this year is none other than Jennifer Dory. And I know everyone's like, whoa, what are you saying? Why do you think Jennifer is going to pass Maureen? You said there's not a lot of time to leapfrog. There's not a lot of time to jump over people. It's only been, there's only 10 weeks. How could she pass her? I don't think Jennifer was her best at this year's Olympia, but not, she wasn't far off. She wasn't, you know, significantly off. It, was, it wasn't like a package where you're like, oh man, she was really off. When people saw Laura Lee, everyone was like, oh, she's a little off right now. You know, no one really said that about Jennifer. They were like, oh, her posing was a little this. Um, I saw her conditioning and her legs didn't really match her conditioning of her upper body so much. I felt like her balance was just a tiny bit off, uh, you know, from her leg to her upper body. Uh, you know, little little things. You would need a really, really good eye to see anything that's really wrong with her. You know, we're talking about pretty much the most perfect physiques in the world. But I could see there was just a little bit off of her, right? Then she dropped, and I thought until literally a couple days ago, actually a day ago, I was like, Maureen's going to win it. It's just, you know, it's not enough time. Just It's just not. And and no no shade at Jennifer. She's my buddy, and Mark's my buddy too. Um, but in in between shows, it's Jennifer isn't the Ashley Cotwell cert. Jennifer is not the girl who can maintain that conditioning super super good from show to show. That's why you don't see her competing all year, and that's just genetics. Everyone has different genetics. Ashley's really good at maintaining her stage conditioning from show to show. Jennifer's going to fluctuate a little bit more. Um, last year, she really looks like she got a handle on things and was doing a lot better in the off season. But still, she's just not that person who's going to be able to just stay lean from show to show. So I was like, well. 10 weeks of dieting for Jennifer, um, in addition to the prep for the Olympia, is a lot of dieting for Jennifer. You were talking, if she prepped for 16 weeks for the Olympia, which I don't know if she did. I think she she, she stayed pretty lean, so I don't know if she did a full 16-week prep last year. But then now you're adding in 10 more weeks. That's 26 weeks. That's half a year of dieting uh, for, for two major shows. For Jennifer, I wasn't sure how her body would hold up because, again, genetically, she's not that girl that's going to do 20 shows in a year. That's just not her. And, and everyone, that's not a, a, anything about her willpower or anything like that. That is purely genetics, and that's why it's just so different for every, everyone else. So now, when she dropped these pictures, I was like, dude, seriously, what the actual f*** is going on here? I was like, what is happening right now? And uh, I was just so shocked at these pictures. I was like, what's, what's going on here? Like, well, look at Jennifer right now. That is, that is a significantly improved package from the Olympia and mainly in the legs like she is just this is this Jennifer would beat the Jennifer at the Olympia no problem this Jennifer would beat that Jennifer at the Olympia with a perfect score um, I have zero doubt about that now will this Jennifer be enough to beat Maureen I don't know um, it's pretty hard to dethrone someone who just won the Olympia 10 weeks ago that's the other thing right so but man does Jennifer look good hats off to Jennifer um, she really knocked this one out of the park uh, you know, if she brings, even if she brings this before peak week, she just shows up like this, she's already better than the Olympia, uh, you know, and there's not any heavy filters or hardeners or anything on this. I, like I've looked at the picture, like it's, it's, you know, it's got its edits, but it's pretty, it's pretty raw. So, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's pretty significant. I've been seeing her in her stories. She looks like this. So yeah, I was, I was shocked at this and I do think that she has a really strong chance of winning it. Now remember Maureen didn't win the, the Olympia, with a perfect score. Some judges did have Jennifer winning the Olympia, right? So uh, it's not going to take too much to flop, the, to flop that scores over, right? So it's not like Maureen won with an absolute perfect score. Jennifer did get at least one first that I know of. So, um, and the first she did get was from a, from a high-level judge. So, you know, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of debate on this one going from her to Maureen. So now we go to Maureen Blanquisco, the current world champion, Miss Olympia bikini herself. Um, now, 
is she off? And is that why I think Jennifer is going to beat her? No, I don't think she's off at all. I think that she looks, she looks incredible. I mean, she looks pretty much exactly as she did at the Olympia. Some people thought she needed to be harder. I don't think you need to be harder. I think if the, the judges like you a certain way where you're winning the Olympia, you don't need to change anything. I think that's the biggest mistake people make is they try to change too much from show to show. And then that's how you see them lose a lot of placings. And I've done this myself thinking that we can improve someone. I'm like, what? Well, we don't need to improve them significantly if they're already winning, you know? Let the judges kind of guide you as a coach and tell you which direction to go. She looks very similar to how she looked at Olympia. She is, she is the definition of pretty muscle. She has the round, pretty muscles without the graininess to them, which is very good for bikini. Um, you know, me personally, I like how they picked her because she has uh, pretty muscle, and I do think that that's an obtainable look for a lot of people to get to after years and years and years. She is a little bit more muscular than the average girl. Um, you know, when we talk about overall size, you know, she's definitely pretty muscular. She's a very muscular bikini athlete. So the girls that are going to be competing there are super muscular. You have Laura Lee, you have Jennifer Dore, you have Maureen. It's a, it's a more muscular group. You have Ivana, right? More muscular, um, more built kind of group, right? So um, when you stand next, when you have that much muscle, that much muscle doesn't look like that much muscle, if it makes sense. If you have Laura Lee and you're standing her next to a lot of petite bikini competitors, Laura Lee looks super muscular, right? If you have Laura Lee, Ivana, Maureen, and Jennifer, well, now the muscle doesn't look so crazy because there's not so much of a comparison to the smaller girls. You know, you have Alessia there who's more petite. You have Ashley there who's more petite. But it's not, the muscle's not going to stand out as much. And that's why I think that Jennifer could potentially be taking this spot because Jennifer is more muscular. And if you look at just the bikini criteria on paper, you just judge off the criteria of what is listed in terms of muscle. Pretty muscle would be like Maureen, and then you'd, you'd have and, and balance and bubbliness, and then you'd probably go with Ashley after that. But when you have all this muscle around them, you might just go with Jennifer because Jennifer is looking super impressive. But again, so those are the two variables at this, Arnold. Is Jennifer going to regain the title and get her Arnold title, setting up a dramatic Olympia? Is Laura Lee going to come in and bring in her package that she brought last year and defend her title is maureen going to be the new arnold classic champion which is the most likely because she just won the world championship is ashley going to get another arnold title I, I think she has five right now <laughs> arnold titles uh it's gonna be different in different countries yeah because she's won the arnold uk i think it's five um so it, what's gonna what's gonna happen with this but this is a crazy crazy arnold um i i can't believe that this is happening you have three Arnold Classic champions in the top four. And the, the, the fourth one is the only one who hasn't won the Arnold. The most likely one to win it hasn't won the Arnold. So what is going to happen at the Arnold? I'm getting excited for it. Hopefully you guys are getting excited for it. Tell me who you guys think is going to be one through five. Leave it in the comments below. If you're at the Arnold, say hi. I hope to see you all there. This one's a sweater. Hope I didn't piss anyone off. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Talk to you next time.